face towels i know there's a brand that i know leah's face and a couple other people were using but they're like face washing cloths but they're disposable and biodegradable basically it's like a paper towel but like it's supposed to be better than a paper towel for like cleaning your face with so i saw these on tiktok shop and they were pretty cheap and i had like a um discount so i got them i want to try these i don't know what i want to do with content but they're by this brand dick toy i'm gonna make a, a video for tiktok shop um too but yeah, I wanna like try these out. Let me see. This yeah, this is what the box looks like. So we're gonna have to try it out. I want to do more, um I gotta get back into my beauty and skincare routines too. But it just be so much to do and so little time. And then life is stressful. And then I'm really trying really hard to go hard for my dreams and vlogging and stuff like that. So I'm trying to do TikTok and other stuff. I feel like I need to because I gotta figure out what my space is. Um, I love, love, love YouTube, but y'all know it be taking hours to edit videos and the discoverability over here be rough. <laughs> I'm happy to have my new vlogging camera, which I've been using for the last couple of vlogs. It's the Sony, Sony ZV-1F. Where is it? This is Eat, and I have the white one. I want to find a white tripod because the tripod's black and it's kind of giving off the but yeah, and then I also use, this is just random, I have this on my Amazon shop, these little mic and attachment for iPhones for my like TikTok views and voiceovers and stuff like that. So if you do voiceovers, get something like this is nice and they're rechargeable. Like, this is a random chicken. Yesterday we got Jack some um, new treats. They're like turkey bacon treats for dogs. It was in the fridge. Oh, maybe we should put this back. It's a cute refrigerator. Let me put it in the fridge. Turkey bacon. But you know where the bougie dog food be at in that fridge? It was in there. It was a treat, but it was in the bougie dog fridge with the little raw meat and shit. I said, hmm, this lit. Let me go put this in the refrigerator because it's been sitting out. And I'm going to get some bougie shit and leave it out. That's crazy. Y'all, they said let it cook for like 20 minutes or something. I think I might have overdid it. This tea is brown, brown. I tried to make it in the microwave. and do all that. So I'm ready to see what this tastes like. Okay. Absolutely nobody. Me. Like, it's almost, it got me in a um, chokehold like the dang hill. Catch myself doing this to everything now. Like, girl, please. The process I will get past. It's not so bad. Yeah, yeah. Fill me within. I'm gonna win. It got a question. Okay, so the tea was okay. I added honey, but y'all, I got this expensive ass 
raw honey and i was like i ain't finna pour all my honey here this is probably like five cups worth of tea um so i feel like i would have to use my all these not all of it but i'm gonna say this for my cup so what did i do i went and got okay so i tried this tazo tea okay first of all you should know i have a whole ass tea um cabinet i freaking love tea you know, I have the cups down here, some of them. We got some stuff over here. It's crazy. Um, but my girl, my go-to for flavor is this Tazo Passion Tea. Oh, my God. I haven't seen anything that might not be that good. And it just overpowers it to where it tastes like passion. Like, I got these CBD teas. I love, 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 love these. I always recommend people try them if they like CBD. Um, they're kind of pricey, but if you catch them on sale, they're not too bad. And they're worth it. Um, for some of these, like the turmeric, I will mix it with the passion because, baby, the turmeric and the ginger be a little overpowering sometimes. But anyways, I like Tazo teas is what I was going to say, most of them. So I recently tried this one, the elderberry blackberry. It's so good. It's up there with passion. Passion still my favorite. But I put this, basically, two, bar two bags of this in here to see if it's going to give it a flavor because... I'm not feeling the flavor, and I don't want to put too much sugar in it. Um, I also tried these. I got these from, um, I think it's called, is it going to show? Charbro. This one is pretty good. It's like a lot of peppermint and uh, chamomile cloves in it. I like the taste of it. It's very pepperminty. But I like that. I got that one from Home Goods. And actually, there are, there's some jam. in here. It's hard to get out. But there's more tea. Look. I got more tea back there. See, more Tazo. It's a um, sleepy time. Girl, I love tea. size but I'll put it in my like um in my description I don't know in my description I guess and then this one has a stand I think I got this for like 30 bucks or something I don't know they had a really good discount and when they had a discount is when I got it I really wanted the bigger one um hey y'all this is the work fit for today oh god look 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 am I moving your phone so for reference, I'm 5'7". And if I'm right here, I can still see my full body. It's kind of almost the same height as me when it's like leaning against it. I think you can also hang it on the wall. 
But I just love the look of it. It feels like so elevated for the space. What y'all think? I think it was worth it. And it's way cheaper than it was on Amazon. So if y'all want to get one, I'm going to link it in the video on TikTok shop. So y'all go support me so I can get that commission. Okay. But if you want me to get the commission, you can still get it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's cute. It's a vibe. Okay, y'all, this was my old college childish mirror. This is the new one. Childish baddie. Childish baddie. It was time. It was time. I feel like the, the outfit just looked better in this mirror. Like, wait. Come on now. Don't play with her. This is the box. I can't believe it made it here in one piece, y'all, but it did. And it was hard to tell you this open. But it made it here in one piece, so... This was my first big TikTok shop purchase. The other one I had like the self track, face tracking um, tripod, which was good. Everything so far has been good. And I just got a bunch of other stuff. I got Jack some stuff. Got this bath brush for Jack. This a Paul, a Paul cleaner. Let me turn this off. Is that like trash? Oh, so much better. So yeah, this a Paul cleaner because Jack gonna stop getting people out of my house, and he gonna pay. Okay, why is it not focusing? But yeah, these are like the um, gloves to clean the dog with. I ain't have nothing really to get that to bath. And then I also got this light that I've been seeing everybody use. Okay, it's like a light. You can clip it to your um, phone or your... I think you can clip it to your phone or your camera, but I got to clip to my camera for when I'm vlogging. Why the hell she don't want to focus? Okay, there we go. I got to clip to my camera for when it's dark or something and I need like... Because the girl they said this been working. So we're going to try that out. I got some Paul Balm. Be so for real right now. I got some Paul and Nose Balm for Jack. Be so for real. I bought it. Yep. I got him a little. This is like. You know you know them towel robes we be having? It's like the dog version. Then I got him some silk pajamas. They over there. Y'all Jack about to be. I'm about to get on his nerves, really, but it's okay. And then, I don't know what's in this. Oh, y'all, I got a freaking silicone cooking utensil set, and it's going to match this marble so good. Hold on. All right, y'all, so I got this silicone cooking utensil set um, from Tisasha. Should be good. So we're going to open it. It looks super cute on the um, page. So hopefully I'm getting this for both. Okay. Oh damn. Okay, we just gone. Oh, I shouldn't have did it like that. The least graceful way to do that. It was literally in a fun. Like, look at all these. Look, and it comes with this little plastic. I, I think I'll get something glass instead, but look at how it goes with the marble. Like, look at how it goes with the marble. So I can go perfectly with the marble. Like, yeah. Whew, y'all. That took so much, but yeah, look at all these pieces. Like, I feel like this is so worth it. This is so worth it. Look at the pieces. This is all silicone, so it doesn't like scrape up your um pots and stuff. And the way I see it is, this is way cheaper than I would get on Amazon. <laughs> That's my uh, girl math right now. And these are plastic. I really wanted some um glass ones but this just came with this set but i really love this color and i'm vibing with them i'm vibing with them i don't think about these like plastic uh measuring cups when they get greasy it'd be hard to clean them and then we also got whatever all that stuff is so we got that and then we got the measuring spoons too and i really don't like this so i'm gonna just turn it the other way i mean it's gonna look like this. <laughs> so, 
yeah this is my mini tiktok shop haul because i'm super tired and it's 8 45 p.m and i feel like i just got home and i gotta get up and go back to work so so <laughs> I'm trying to show y'all the thing, but Jack trying to take it already. Anyway. Look <laughs> at this cute. Look at this cute golden tape dispenser I found at Five Below. It's giving a cute aesthetic, don't you think? Um, and it was only five dollars at Five Below, and it's heavy. It's like metal. This is going to be so cute on my desk once I finally get it set up. I also have been seeing these everywhere. The typewriter keyboards that you can attach via Bluetooth so I can use it for my iPad. Um, I had reached out to a couple companies, but none of them followed up. So when I went to Five Blue, I saw this one there for $10, which is cheaper than I saw the ones on Amazon and stuff. So we'll see how it works, but I just wanted to be able to try or whatever because I'll be trying to work on my MacBook and my iPad and I really do need one of those like um I really need one of those cases that you can type with so I wanted to give this a try so y'all we got snow today it's crazy I'm trying to show you out the window without like showing my house but like I had the window open because I was trying to like look at <laughs> the snow but y'all, it was like, I think the high today was 18, and it's been snowing basically all day. I couldn't even go to work. The pros of being in the south when the winter comes through versus being in the Midwest or north. Because when I was in Chicago, it was a normal day. <laughs> Hi, friends. So, it's snowing in Tennessee. We have a winter storm uh, for Tennessee right now. And we had to work from home because we can't even leave. Because they haven't pl plowed the wet, like, the roads and stuff. Like, I lived in uh, Chicago land for a while, so I'm used to snow. But in the south, people aren't really that used to snow. So, it's very unsafe to not have the roads plowed. So, like, can't really go anywhere. But I just got some packages from TikTok shop, and I need to shoot the content. So, I'm going to walk my ass to the mail room. It ain't too, too far, but I'm going to walk. Look at me looking like a damn snowman. <laughs> um... But yeah, I'm going to get like a little footage of me walking in the snow. But I'm kind of scared to take my um camera out there. It's 10 degrees outside, y'all. I'm going to turn into an icicle on the way. Like, but I only have like a week left because it took a while to get here. And then now it's I just can't keep waiting. I don't think this snow is going to melt for like the entire week, to be honest. Because it's under freezing for the entire week. So I'm just like, what y'all going to do? I don't, <laughs> what we going to do? We, we going to be at home all week or like, like. So, yeah, I just want to tell y'all. But, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I got on some peppermint Christmas furry socks, some uh, sweat pants, and I'm going to go put on my big big boots and go. I'm going to be looking crazy. Look at him. He's so happy. He's so happy. Look at him. Jack geeked, y'all. Y'all see him? He geeked. He geeked about it. So, it's a rawhide. It's not a rawhide. It's a treat. It said there's no rawhide in it, rawhide in it. Um, but I'm giving him a bath, and he was late for a treat anyway, so I spoiled. And but the thing I noticed about this is the red stuff gets on his fur. I thought he was bleeding the last time I gave him one. I was like, what the hell? But um, it gets on his fur, and I'm giving him a bath today. So I was like, let me go ahead and give him this last little one. <laughs> he love it. Look at him. He's so content. He got a little little baby. He got little babies. Oh yeah, I made it back out the snow. I got some clips on my phone because I was just nervous about my camera. But yeah, so I walked through. Man, my feet hurt from walking through that dang snow. <laughs> um, why is the color like that? Okay, yeah. So went to the mailbox. I got a couple packages. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. Y'all see my little bear back there? It's so cute. Okay, if you guys saw, I'm pretty sure I included it. 
And I had tested this anxiety free tea from Cerebral Teas. Like they give you a free sample and you just pay for the shipping. Um, and I really liked it. So I went back and ordered the 28 day. This is kind of pricey, but I feel like it worked. It has, oh my God, can we see? It, the ingredients are so small. It has burdock, sarsaparilla, blue, vervain, fever, few, elderberry, dandelion, and fennel. Like, it did what it needed to do. It is a loose tea, but I like it a lot. And I have to mix it with some different flavor. Okay, and then I had got two packages. Well, these are samples from TikTok shop. They'll send you samples in exchange for like videos, um, which is essentially gifting. Um, sometimes you can negotiate getting paid for the videos and the free samples, just depending on what kind of creator you are. Um, but it just depends. The good thing about TikTok shop is it's so popular that the commissions are so good for people. Because, like, for example, on Amazon Influencer, your commission rate is really low. Like, you can sell a whole bunch of stuff, but the commission is low. Versus, like, TikTok shop, um, when you're influencing, especially if it's stuff you're using anyway, it'd be, like, 10, 15, 20%, and you can do multiple different type of items in one place. I feel like they're killing Amazon in that aspect because the commissions aren't low. Like, Amazon, you can make storefronts, but the commissions are lower. Like, it doesn't really add up, so... And then a lot of, with TikTok shop being newer, a lot of stuff that's on Amazon, the people on Amazon are also on TikTok shop. Um, and they're, since it's newer, they're giving a discount, so you get it for cheaper. So that's kind of why I've been pushing it. If you see it on my socials, that's why. Because um, I would love an extra passive income stream. I'm trying to get more into UGC and stuff like that anyway. And yeah, why not? So this first one is a pheromone perfume. I feel like this has been going viral on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. I didn't put the hand behind it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let me open this. I'm going to make a video for TikTok on it, but I kind of want to smell it. Allure Sensuals Fair Mob Perfume. Desi Desire. Ooh! No, nah, this smells so good. What are the notes of this? It just says essential oil. It smells sexier and more attractive, strengthening your natural scent. Ooh, it smells like sweet, like. Mmm, it smells like sugar. Like sugar. I don't know what it smells like, but it does smell good. I ain't even being extra. It does smell good. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to explain this for the TikTok shop video. It smells really good. Like, a sweet, but not too sweet. Y'all know how some scents are like vanilla, but too sweet? It's sweet, but it's like a feminine sweet, not like a girly sweet. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to explain it. Because the girls on TikTok are going to run me into the ground if I say wrong thing. Guys, I have a confession. I don't have a signature scent yet. Like, I have one scent, literally one scent. It's not very diverse. I'm still trying to figure out the whole scent thing. Recently, I just tried this pheromone perfume, and I know it's, like, going viral. And my first thought was just, like, what the heck does pheromone smell like? Because when y'all say feminine, what does feminine smell like? So as a baseline, my favorite fragrance right now is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. This one is more like sensual, sexy, sweet, if that makes sense. Like it's given like, I'll put this on on Valentine's Day because mm. Google said that these are like pheromones. So I mean, unless Google just lied to me, I feel like it's legit. Amazing. So I've been trying to do more lifestyle content. Obviously lifestyle is like vibe right now. And I had requested a sample from this company for matcha powder. Oh my goodness. Green matcha. I love matcha. Yeah, I love matcha. Um, I used to get matcha from Starbucks all the time, but by the time I added what I added to it and whatever, it was getting expensive. So I stopped buying matcha. But I always wanted matcha powder, but matcha powder is kind of expensive too. Um, so when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I got to try it. It says USDA organic, certified organic, made in Japan, premium culinary grade matcha powder. How to make it, sift one to one teaspoon to a half, one half teaspoon to a teaspoon of matcha to ensure it's one free. Spoon the matcha into the bowl, um, add one fourth cup of hot water, whisk vigorously until frothy, cup of three-fourth. One three-fourth cup of milk and pour into glass. 
I think I'm going to have to get a, a um, what's the thing called? Frother. Because I've gotten matcha powder before, but last time I used it, I had to use a frother because it spent the, the mixing it up wasn't doing what it needed to do. So I think for this one, I'm going to have to get a frother. I have like a week to post this because it took a while to get here. But I might try to order a frother um, because they have cheap ones on Amazon too, like $7 or something. And just do like a tutorial and try this out. The only thing is, I know the matcha at Starbucks is sweetened. And a lot of matcha powders are not. So, if you drink it at Starbucks and then you try to pop the powder, it's going to be, like, grassy. But that's okay for me. I'm trying to cut back on the sugar. But I'm going to have to, like, make it taste a little good. I know I am. <laughs> so. So, yeah, a couple items I'm going to be trying out this week for TikTok shop. So, if you follow me on TikTok, you can be seeing them. You go to my Follow me on Instagram. Oh, Follow me on Instagram. Yo, I can it. It's no good. Matcha girly stand up. It's matcha time. And I'm trying this new matcha powder. And I was so excited, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Using the frother to mix is key to me in adding white chocolate and vanilla syrup. Thank me later. I'm telling y'all, I love oat milk as well. You can use any type of milk if you're making a latte. But this is my jam, y'all. Make sure y'all try it out and let me know if you like it. Save that coin by making that latte at home, okay? <laughs> But yeah, y'all, it's snowing. We got like maybe three or four inches. I don't know. I don't know how many inches it is of snow. And they didn't plow the roads. Like on Monday, my job, they hadn't really said anything. So I got up and I was like, I looked out the window. I said, baby, the streets aren't plowed. I can't go to work. Like, what? I know y'all ain't giving no direction, but I can't drive in this. <laughs> it's not plowed at all. Like, you literally gonna have to drive through the snow that was on the ground. And to be honest, the streets still look like they plow, and this is day two, and I'm just like, and this is not a state that it snows a lot in, so, yeah, I've been working on for two days, because who finna drive 20 minutes or whatever, even if it's only 20 minutes, the snow, on the high, I can only imagine what the highway like. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, is this real life? It reminded me of when we had that snowstorm in Birmingham and the entire city shut down. I call that the snowpocalypse and I just got on my store and called this a snowpocalypse. This isn't as bad, but in Birmingham, it shut down. They they, they shut the roads down a couple years back. It was like maybe, it was when I was in college. And I got stranded on one side of the town because they wouldn't let me drive my car back home. And I had to stay with like a coworker for like two or three days. Like, I'm not playing with them with this. Like, I'm just so shocked that, that, like, the roads aren't plowed. I know everybody isn't ready, but I feel like it snows here sometimes. Like, we're no up north enough where they get it sometimes. But I know in Alabama, you really, really, really get snow at all. They do not be knowing what to do in Alabama. Like, it's crazy. But I'm just, like, here, like, I, I expected more of y'all. <laughs> but, yeah, in conclusion, we kind of stranded in the house. Kind of. I mean, I'd go out there if I wanted to, but I don't want to drive in that. <laughs>